who's ready for Annie? All right, here comes Annie. Her son Luke's on, by the way. <laughs> Annie. Annie. <laughs> Where'd you go? There you are. I'm here. Hi. Look Hi. at your jacket. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Love it. You Love said it. you were going to make a special edition, like this isn't even the special edition chit chat jacket. This is all Annie. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now, what what do you call this gorgeous? Uh, it's, no. I, I, I don't know anywhere. <laughs> anywhere, I love anywhere it. Anywhere that love you can it. wear it anywhere. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so you've been in the audience, obviously, a bunch, and now you are guest star. I want to make sure that you are seeing everybody. Are you in the gallery setting or are you in the speaker No, setting? let me see. Hold on. Go in the gallery setting. That way you can see all of your friends that are here. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and oh uh, I did remember to record, so that's a good thing. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wait, let me see. Oh, Luke's there. Oh, cute. Hey, Z&D. Wait, I got to say hi to everybody. Oh, my goodness. Hi, everyone. Oh, this is so cool. This is really cool. Hey, Chris. Oh, I was telling everybody that I'm in my craft room tonight because we are going to be doing our, um, well, I'm going to be doing your show later on tonight, which I'm super excited about. Um, I, I need to know, like, and, and everybody else I feel like needs to know, first of all, how in the heck did you get involved in crafting? Um, I've always been crafty since I was like a little kid. Um, <clears throat> my, my grandmother was always crafty. My mom was always sewing. My parents came from Cuba, so they were incredibly resourceful with everything. Okay. I mean, there wasn't a piece of plastic that ever left our house to go in the garbage. <laughs> they used it all. And uh, yeah, I mean, from like little strips of fabric that she would give me and I would like roll up and you know make little rugs and stuff like that so right. I was always yeah I was always crafty so definitely mom get it from mom and grandma and everything that's really yes. cool so um I, I know and other people know that you're also an actor and yes. you know we had that in common like right from the very beginning I think when we first initially kind of uh Instagram met and uh I'm curious um tell tell us how acting and crafting because i know the answer because i do it but tell us how it they kind of feed into each other well in my channel especially because my channel started actually as like parodies of movies and tv yeah. shows so i would make the cost i love making costumes obviously i did this yeah. like sandy is is a can attest to the fact that we were talking until like nine or ten o'clock last night right. and i was like okay sandy i gotta make something to wear for tomorrow so <laughs> literally threw it together. Okay. So that's where it started was, you know, doing the parodies. And, um, and then it's just, you know, you know, it just started changing it. it but the acting always comes in well, because you, you're comfortable in front of a camera in front of, you know, people. So yep. yeah, yep. Comes in. nice. I always say for me, it was like a, um, you know, it was a way to have that creative outlet, because you can't yes. always be on set as much as we'd like to always be on set. And so it's yes. just another form of, of creativity. Um, if if you had to choose, you had to be an actor or you had to be a crafter, but you couldn't do both, what would you do? Well, it you know, honestly, I I, I can do both. I mean, if I if I couldn't do it, like, <laughs> because I mean, as as an actor, you're always crafting something or other. Exactly. You're creating, you're always creating as an actor. You're creating a character that, you know, lives only as words on a piece of paper and you're bringing right. it to life. And the same thing is true for a crafter. I mean, you take little pieces of this and that. It's like, oh, there's a piece of wood. Oh, there's a flower. Blah, 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 boom. And you, you, you've made like, you know, a wedding centerpiece, yeah. you know, something. Yeah, exactly. So it's always, you know, the creative process. So it's, it's different if you were to ask me, like, you know, if you're going to be a financial analyst and you're going to be a crafter, yeah. I'm like, you know, crafter. <laughs> so day job or creative job, you had no choice. Cre creative job, definitely. Creative job. Yeah. I'm the same. Love my day job, but yeah. Yeah. Same, same here. Um, so I'm curious. I know Luke, who is one of your sons, is on the Zoom with us tonight. Do you have, um, are, are any of your kids creative? Do you think they've kind of picked up on the bug from mom? Yes, well, Ethan is my eldest, he's 22, and he actually started as a watchmaker. 
And, uh, you know, he just decided that he was going to go to vocational school instead of going to college and became a watchmaker. Now he sells BMWs. But you know what? He's happy. That's all that matters. That's all that really matters. Has he got and mom a BMW yet? <laughs> no, no. But in his previous job, he worked at a jewelry store and he got me some diamonds. So we're good. We're good. Okay. All right. And, that, that makes up for it. That makes and up then for Luke, it. Luke is still in high school, but he is working really hard to become a music producer and he's constantly creating new music. Love not my theme, not my theme song yet, but yes, he's constantly. Yeah, creating we, we, we all need to send Luke private messages and say, yeah. hey, Luke, get mom's, get mom's theme song going. Luke's like, great. Thanks, mom. <laughs> um, I would love it too. I think you mentioned that Luke was, um, is he on, like some of his music is on like Spotify or similar kind of uh, SoundCloud. And, and yes, like that, he's, right? on, he's on so, SoundCloud. Yes, he is. Luke, Luke drop Luke. a uh, link in the chat. That way we can follow up with it later on and we can well, listen to some of your music. The thing is, it's like a lot of my music isn't really like public. Uh, you know so i mean i can still give you the link but it's going to be a lot of my old music because it's okay I, I'm, I'm making an album so let me see i think we'd still be we'd still be into it um <laughs> yeah annie so i'm curious um what do your work colleagues think of Indiana Jones. Well, you know, funny you should say that. I have two work colleagues on right now. Lauren is, okay. uh, she is my coworker at United Way. And Diana, we work together at Big Brothers Big Sisters. And one of the things they learned as being my friend is you get, you get like, caught up in the whirlwind of the Annie Jones world. And it's like, yeah. come on, let's go do this. Let's go do that. Let's go see Versace. Yeah. Let's, you know, you know, it's like, hey, we're, you know, I'm going to do this. So you, I just pulled it's them like along with me. Squirrel, squirrel. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's like, hey, I got to dress up in period costume for, you know, for a Christmas yeah. thing. So you're coming with me. And they're like, what? Oh, okay. So yeah, like, okay, great, great. They're used to it. Yeah. That's but I mean, cool. it's not very well known. It's like only known by a few select okay friends and are you you choosing to keep it that way just because it's it's kind of your your baby your thing you know only my really close friends really care <laughs> okay okay that's fair yeah. that's yeah. fair i i don't have mine like out on like my facebook page i have a separate instagram page and everything too so i can respect that do you remember the very first project that you ever made for youtube or for instagram for for public what yes was <laughs> so my first, so it was September 15th. Um, it was around September, early September that I came up with the idea of, I want to do crafting and I want to do acting and I want to do it here in my house. Okay. And basically I created the first episode, which Luke was a part of. And so was Ethan. And it was the mad laboratory, mad scientist laboratory episode. Okay. Look it up. It's fun. It's on YouTube. I did the whole, you know, the whole set, the whole design of, you know, everything, everything. And it was just, you know, it was just a regular Tuesday afternoon and a friend of mine who's a cameraman came over to the house. And, Tuesday at Annie's. <laughs> yeah, just a regular Tuesday at Annie's. But, you know, again, my friend Diana and Lauren can attest to the fact that there's nothing normal right. <laughs> that goes around in my house. Now, what do, you do, yeah. what do you do with all of your DIYs after you've... Uh, created them <laughs> well right now they're all piled up on my dining room table that i figured i have to clean yeah. that this weekend because it's all piled up if you saw the camera had panned over to the side where the messy part is uh -huh. right now it's there but no usually my mom comes and takes it and my friends stop by and my neighbors stop by so you guys okay. if you want anything you can stop by and come and get it that's um cool. but for now that's that's basically what i'm doing is friends and family you know yeah, Here, take it away. You'll, you'll get to a point where you'll have so many that you'll end up taking them to thrift stores. You'll take them apart. You'll donate them to charities. There's oh, um, there's a uh, like a women's and teen shelter that's here in town that I'll take some to. And then there's some thrift stores that are um, kind of have charitable tie ins that I'll take some stuff to. And um, you'll still have that pile on the dining room because yeah. it's, it's I do think mine are part as well. I do take mine apart as well because I'm cheap. I'm well, I think that's a great way to to recycle and to reuse some stuff, you know, especially like um, I'm doing a, uh, 
uh, Crystal, I think I'm allowed to say something about it, maybe, maybe. Yes, please do, maybe. definitely. Um, but I'm doing a uh, the Save Our Earth collab with Teresa and Crystal coming up at the end of the month. And uh, sorry if I spoiled it, guys, but this won't post till probably close to that time anyway. But um, we're, um, you know, it's, it's about recycling and, and using trash to kind of create things. So um, that was, that was, that makes perfect sense of reusing your, your recyclables and your DIYs and stuff. All right. So I want to keep this interactive too. And I want you guys to be able to ask questions. So if you have a question, please feel free to use that raise your hand icon, or you can actually raise your actual hand like Sandy just did. And we'll let her ask the first question. And then Corey used the virtual hand. So she will be next. Annie, oh my gosh, I love you so hardcore, girl. You're so creative and so unique. I don't know how you do it all. Like you give and give and you're so kind and you grow the community and it's so selfless. You're always putting others in front of yourself and just how are you so creative? Like, where do you get your energy, girl? Like, I don't, I don't, like, I'm tired just watching you. <laughs> I, I'm, I get tired too, believe me. <clears throat> and it's funny because I'm like, you know, I, I, I love you guys on Instagram, but, you know, five o'clock in the morning, I hear the bing and I'm like, goodness gracious, they're already running to each other. But yeah, I'm usually up by like six and down by 1130. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We've had some later nights this week too. Where we were yes, talking. I know. We past 11, 1130. It, so. was, it was really late. It was, yeah. oh my gosh, it was really late. And it was a weeknight too. But no, I just, you know what? You know what drives me is just, I don't know, just when I get on camera and I'm making something, I get I, I get really excited. Like, oh my gosh, this is, you know, this, this is what drives me is when I'm making something and then I see the people, everybody's reactions, oh, they like it and this and that. And especially when it's, you all guys can relate, like you, you have something in your brain and then you start making it and it actually starts coming out the way you expect it. You're like, this is amazing. Like I can actually make this, this is happening. Yeah. But um, no, as far as like inspiration as to where things, you know, I love movies. I love, you know, I'm trying to get more into my, obviously, yeah, I'm, I'm very whimsical. So <laughs> I'm trying to make life a little more colorful, a little more whimsical, a little more, you know, a little more, just a little more. And well, I think that's what we all do as crafters. I think that's what we all do is just, yeah. you know. You definitely bring color and a lot more to my life. So. Thank you, girlfriend. Thank you. Thank you, Sandy. No, thank you. Let me tell you, Sandy here, she's the one that's kept me, she, you know, I was all over the place last year. She got me down and she said, you got to make a calendar. You got to do this. You got to work on your, your thumbnails. And if I have succeeded in anything this year, it's thanks to this. No, 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 you do the work, my girlfriend, you do the work. Yeah, but you give me the advice. You're, you're like my Obi-Wan. You, you <laughs> oh, you're Obi-Wan. Yes. Help you, me, Obi-Wan. Yeah, help me hope yeah, exactly you remember that one. you're my only hope uh Corey, what's your question hi hi how are you um so i know i have a few favorites of your parodies and the fun stuff you do when you dress up i'm curious over the years what has been your favorite youtube video that you've created that we should all go and watch right after this and well, before my, you're, you're well i have to say my first video was my favorite because it's, it's one of the first videos that my both of my boys came out and you know ethan they, they it was it was so funny because i was like guys you guys are so cute get in front of the camera get in front of them. they're like no mom no mom no no <laughs> i was like dang you know luke luke has grown into it now so he'll you know he'll stick his head in every so often okay. um my favorite all of them yeah all of my parodies are really my favorite because the you know the ambiance here in my house it was like I was literally like I would make brunch for everybody for my crew and for the actors that would come or I'd make dinner and it was just a family thing so it was like we would film for maybe two two hours three hours and the rest it was just we were hanging out in costumes and just having fun but I mean <clears throat> one of my son's favorite one of Luke's favorite sorry is um the Captain Jack Sparrow and I making Rice Krispie treats. That was a complete fail. You cannot make favorite. rice 
That is my favorite. <laughs> you cannot make Rice Krispie treats with Lucky Hysterical. Charms. It cannot happen. I did something wrong. <clears throat> but that one is so, so much fun. And like, you know, as far as my parodies, are, but all of them, I have, I had so much fun when, and I'm looking forward to the time that, you know, all of this is calmed down and we can start making, I mean, I literally got, a, you know, one of my cameramen called me and he's like, hey, you know, I think this is going to come to an end soon and we're going to be able to go, you know, work together again. Are you going to do parodies again? Or are you just going to continue? I, I want to continue doing maybe a parody once a month, but continue doing my crafts because I feel like I've honed in a little better on my yeah. crafting. Career. And I think that your channel can easily be parodies and DIYs and other things too. You don't have to put yourself in, in one box by any means, because I think we would miss it if you didn't you know if you didn't share all of those different elements uh teresa b you have your virtual hand up teresa. Oh, i <clears throat> definitely second sandy in everything that she said because if i go and say it i'll start to cry no <laughs> um, and, and it, it's say easily it, it happens really <laughs> easily so <laughs> um but i wanted to see what if you had to pick one craft from the last we'll just say six months just to make it a parameter what one craft has been your favorite thing that you've made in the last, just say six months or so? I know the answer to that for me personally, out of the stuff that you've created, Annie. But tell me, tell me. It's that gorgeous jewelry box that you have right behind you. Oh, the throne. Oh yeah, that was throne, fun. Yeah. That was, that's the thing. It's like, and that's the other hard thing about letting go. Cause they like the ones that are my favorites become like my children. It's like, oh, I like you. And I like- That one was really amazing. Ever. And I like the, I love my corset. I love my corset. The corset vase oh is cool. Gosh, I love that thing. I, I don't know. I love, I, you know, I don't know. They're, they're all special. They're all special to me. I'm, there's something wrong with me. But, you know, it's like you create something. And again, like you take this and you take, it was like all these lifeless little pieces. And then you put them together. And then somebody says, wow, that was beautiful. And then you're like, thank you. You know, I made, I made something beautiful in this world. That's, that's what's cool about all my crafts. But, you know. I, I last six months is their craft. I don't know. I, I have to say one thing I do enjoy doing again is becoming a character. And I really love becoming Joe Exotic. <laughs> I love bringing Joe Exotic to life. So I don't know if you guys want Joe Exotic to, to go head to head with Jamie Miles tonight. No, I mean, <laughs> no, we don't. No, we don't. <laughs> Joe, Joe, Joe won't go with Farmhouse. <laughs> Well, yeah, of course, it's perfect for farmhouse. No, you won't. <laughs> <laughs> We're having technical problems. I can't hear you now. Oh, what, right. What's wrong with your mic? Who else has a question for Annie? Uh, nobody. All right. Oh, right, wait, Liz. Oh, Liz. Liz changed her mind. Well, look, I won't. I won't ask a question. I because, girl, I just want to tell you that I love you. You have been such a great friend since the day that I've met you. You were one of the first crafters I've met on YouTube that inspired me and kind of pushed me out of my comfort zone and made me get on live because you were like the only one that was out there doing that at the time, like lives every single night. And and you you did that for me and kind of broke that mold. So I love you to death. I'm so happy that you are still doing what you're doing and being you. And that's like, out of all the information I think we've ever learned, you know, on Jamie's show, from all the other crafters that come on is always be true to who you are, stay who you are, you know, who cares what other people think, you just be you and do you, and that's going to work. And girl, it works for you more than anybody I know, you stay true to who you are. And it's just, it's awesome. It's so cool to see. So love you. Keep it up. Big <laughs> fan. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Liz. And I remember when I met Liz and I was like, it was pulling teeth. Liz, come on, let's go live. Liz, come on, let's go live. Liz, come on, let's go live. She's like, no, no. Come on, we're gonna do. And then I said Halloween, and then you were like, okay. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Halloween. She likes Halloween and she made the most, I will never forget that. It was the most um because who would have thought we did a Tim Burton themed Halloween, yeah, you know craft battle or whatever and she came up with this gorgeous like 
pumpkin that was an Edward Scissorhands pumpkin. It was so perfect. It was gorgeous. I love it. And let me tell you guys, if you haven't seen Liz's channel, please check her out. Check out everybody's. If I think all of you guys know each other, but if you haven't, please check out each other's channels because all of these ladies are fantastic. They're wonderful. They're incredibly talented. Liz has like broken records. She's like, boom, she's gone through the roof. And I love it. I'm so incredibly proud. And we just did a shabby chic collab yesterday. So that was really yeah. good too. That was so much fun. And Liz came up with that amazing idea yes. for the collab that we did together, which was the, I got it, you got it challenge because we happened to shop at Dollar Tree and you know, like all of us do, but for whatever reason, our Dollar Trees with mine and Liz, it seems to be very similar. And so, you know, she created that whole challenge and I hope- That you is so cool. It. No, and I saw that, I was and like, oh, that is so cool. That is- Let me know when you want me to do it again with you, babe, because you know I'm there for you too. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do it. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, Lauren, you've got your hand up. Yes, well, Annie, I love your uniqueness and your style and hearing about all of your crafting adventures. So I was wondering if you could share uh, a few ideas that you have upcoming, maybe give us a teaser into some of your ideas or of what you're thinking about or what you are planning, because I think we'd like to hear that too. Very good. Well, shall I get my calendar? I need my calendar. But <laughs> next week, just so you know, next week I'm participating in a collaboration, which is very special and dear to my heart because... Um, <clears throat> it is going to be celebrating uh, our, our veterans and it's being hosted by Teresa B. DIY. Yes, I'm plugging you, girl. There you go. And basically it's uh, for the brave and we're going to do red, white and blue themed um, crafts, but I'm going to add a little shabby chic, a little Annie into it. So, you know, it's going to be a little different, I guess. That's awesome. And uh, what's cool is that all the proceeds that I make from that night is going to go straight to Fisher House. And Yay, Fisher House, supports, Fisher House is great. Yes, Fisher House supports veterans and actually Mission, you know, Mission United from United Way is, you know, going to hopefully getting a grant from Fisher House so that we can continue helping veterans here in the South Florida area. So That's awesome. very, very near and dear to my heart. And I'm so glad that Teresa came up with this. And by the way, yes, I'm gonna plug my friend because why not? I'm here to do, yeah. you know, I, like I said, this isn't just about me. If I've, no, if I've succeeded in anything, it's because of the friends that I've made on YouTube. Absolutely. And every video that you watch on Teresa's channel this week, it, all the proceeds that she makes from those videos are going to go to Fisher House. So, yeah, I believe this whole month, right, Teresa? Yep. This whole month. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This whole month. Um, as a matter of fact, when, um, Thank I you. heard about Teresa's, um, collaboration, if you will, with Fisher House, because she mentioned it in the um, open call that's coming up for the Cool Lab. And I'm also making a donation to Fisher House because Teresa was doing it as well. So, and my dad's a veteran as well. So how could I not? Yeah. Um, Teresa, if it's too late to join your, if it's not too late to join your red, white, and blue, let me know. It's I'll link something together. Maybe I'll do it tonight when we're on the show with Annie. <laughs> yeah, it's not too late. It's not too late. <laughs> Next oh, it's an open it's an open collab on right. tuesday i'll send you the information yeah please do please do i will um because yeah. i have some red white and blue in those drawers back there uh corey i think you had your hand up and then connie you'll be next thank you so i just wanted to say you know i agree with everything that everybody else is saying and i should have said it before because you are really a very sweet friend and um the one thing i did want to add is that you just have a um special way of making people feel good about who they are so thank you for that well thank you thank and thank you Corey because you've helped me a lot a lot and I got you to go live as well and now you go yeah. live every other week now. yeah I, I was on it you did great Corey oh well, thank you yeah that was the second time she got me online <laughs> the other yeah. time I was dragged you know dragged into it but no but no yeah, you're, but you're just um yeah you they broke the mold when they made Annie Annie, oh, so. That's so <laughs> sorry I'm get, I gotta stop because <laughs> oh, <I'm so> clumped. <laughs> I put on makeup you can't make me cry because I got like oh I got makeup on my eyes I try to look pretty today <laughs> um Connie go for it Connie hey Annie hey. um I just wanted to let everyone know you were the first one who got me on live I'm I'm very uncomfortable in front of the camera so I have a hard time 
and you made me feel extremely comfortable. We had fun. And uh, you are like, you're, you're younger than me, but you seem like you're my older sister. I can go <laughs> to you for um, help. You're always there. Um, you're just you. a sweetheart with a large heart. Thank and I'm just thanking you for being the part of my life and our life here no thank you and again thank you if i've if i've succeeded in doing anything the most important thing for me as a person regardless of what career i have or anything is number one i could make you laugh every so often you yep. know just like forget all your cares for a little bit and number two that i've inspired you to be a better you that's yes. you know that's the most important thing for all of you because we're all you know it's just i don't know i see you all as so special and now i'm gonna start crying because Again, it's like a lot of you guys, you took a chance by going live with the crazy woman that you would watch every night that would set things on fire and stuff. And you took a chance and you gave, you trusted me and that meant the world to me. But I'm glad that that trust has, you know, helped build, you know, whatever it is that you're creating. If it's just the fact that now you're more comfortable in front of the camera, or whatever, I'm going to start crying. Now. Well, even what? just today, when I was on the video call with you, you, I was, I was, crafting and you wanted to see it and you're like giving me all these ideas and I'm like thank you so oh, it's beautiful what she's making is beautiful you can't wait to see it I can't wait to yeah. see it. it's next week <laughs> awesome thank you uh Jackie I think you're next Jackie Jackie I'm mute okay <laughs> Annie Jackie this is, this is your life Annie <laughs> <laughs> get out the book of life Jamie Oh, uh, you know, what's really been, what's really been cool is I didn't know any of these people, any of them until you started going live and we all started talking and we all became friends. And now we talk on Instagram, we talk on email, we talk on everything. So thanks, Annie. Oh, you're welcome. And it's, it's so funny because a lot of uh, some other people, when I started going live, I'll tell you the truth. There was only two people that watched me like the first couple of weeks. And it's, I always mention them. It was Jackson Slaughter. He was a young man. He's like a teenager, you know, and he lives with his Nana and all that stuff. He's a sweet kid. And then, and Lizzie Snowbright. And I, I would literally have an audience of two, but I would still go on every night at 9 p.m. I, I guess I should have mentioned that. That's like one of the things that brought us all together was this, you know, terrible thing that was happening in the world. Yeah. And I personally, you know, a lot of people were like, oh, did you go live so you can make more hours so you could do this? And I'm like, no, actually, I was terrified. I was yeah. having panic attacks. I was scared. I was, you know, I love, I love my home. I love being here with my son, but it was just this panic and fear. And I felt like, you know what, if I feel like that, what calmed me down is crafting. And I said, well, why am I going to craft alone? I'll just go live. I just go live and it didn't matter to me whether there was one person or 10 people or whatever it was just me sharing what i love to do which is crafting and because of that all of this has now happened you know meeting all of you and getting to like when i started i think i had maybe a little over a thousand subscribers and now i'm at like 4500 or something thanks we're gonna get you to 5000 before the end of the weekend yay <laughs> that would be nice that would be really nice we're but you know, I think it was like, that helped me to cope with this horrible, terrible thing. And it was, it got to be, a, it really was fun because I would get on there, I'd be crafting. And sometimes it's like, you guys were all chatting to each other. It's like, all right, they're all chatting. I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. And yeah. you were all chatting and I was messing we do. up and <laughs> setting like, things up. I'm over here in the corner crafting. Yeah, I'm over here <laughs> crafting and <laughs> dropping things. And I forgot the glue gun. The glue gun doesn't work. And let me get flame yeah. and you know, that kind but of thing. But it's really, it's really cool that there's people that have, thought about maybe making a channel and they were kind of hesitant and you encouraged them and yep. Sandy encouraged them and everybody said just go for it do so it, do it. Yeah, just do, do it you know we we said it many times on the on this show even just you know you are enough as you are and mm -hmm. that's all you have to bring to your channel just bring you you know yeah. whatever whatever you've got the good the bad the ugly bring it and you're going to find your your people you're going to find your folks that are yeah. going to love you for you and you know that that's just the way it is um sandy you've got your virtual hand up and then melissa i'll do you next 
Hey, um, what advice would you offer someone that's either just starting out or like is getting frustrated in the whole YouTube grind? What, what kind of advice would you offer, Annie? Um, number one, if you're just getting started, start just one of the most important things is just learn about yourself in the crafting world. What is it that you love to do? I think the most important thing that anybody has to do, regardless of what your YouTube channel is about, is really love what you're doing. Really enjoy it. If you're like yeah. slapping something together, like, oh my gosh, I'm going to put this in there. You know, nobody's going to watch you. No, and it doesn't matter what you're doing. Nobody's going to watch that. Nobody's going to enjoy that. But if you share your love and your enjoyment and your, you know, oh, you know, and even you know, like your failures, like, oh, <laughs> this did not come out as it did because that shows a lot of your, the vulnerability and the humanness. Sure. Just be you, be true to yourself, be you, and also learn from others, make friends in the community. One of my biggest mistakes was I started my channel, what, um, five or six years ago, but I was in the acting community and I was just putting out videos. I wasn't paying attention to anything out there. I didn't know about a community out there. I wasn't even on Instagram. And that kind of hurt me in the beginning. So if you're just a new channel that's starting out, find a community. We have a lovely community. We yeah, really do. We have a very cooperative, very collaborative, very kind and, you know, nurturing community. There's not a lot of communities, I think, that are like that. But I think all of us together, I, you know, I, I love it when, you know, new people come along. And it, you know, one of the things I love about my lives is that I have a lot of moderators and all of my moderators, if they see somebody that's new, they're like, do you have a channel? Oh, OK, here's your channel. And we share everybody's channels because we want the word to get out there you know it's not about and it's also don't compete with anybody don't come don't look at anybody else compete with yourself you put out a video that one oh wow look i got a hundred views that's awesome you know and it's your first video so you're gonna get like confetti and stuff i just got confetti i love it and, and you <laughs> see it in your in your analytics or whatever but compete against yourself to do better and learn from others. Don't compete with them. Don't copy. Don't fake it till you make it. Just be you and learn. Learn Love along that. the way. Take advice. You know, listen to advice. Take the advice that you want. And maybe you, you know, somebody's telling you about something. Sandy, you, you can test. Somebody's telling you something to not do that. Right. And it might take a while to stop doing that. But eventually right. you will learn. But it, you know, learn at your pace and just be open. Be, you know. If you want, it depends on what you want your channel for. If you just want to share and you don't have any other, you know, it's not about, you know, creating a big community or business or whatever, then enjoy it. But if you do, then allow other people to help you along the way, because there are a lot of very helpful people and especially in this community. I think it's important too to, you know, listen to advice, be open to critiques, be open to criticism, be open to everything, and then figure out kind of what's your mold. And what fits best with you, you know, there, there are bits and pieces of advice and things that I've learned from other people, including yourself, that you kind of pull together and you create your own, you know, package. And that's what I think is the most important thing about this. Um, Melissa, I know you said you were next, but I want to ask you one question, Annie. How do you deal with um, haters? Because we all get them as your channels grow. They seem to come out of the woodwork. I think it's a YouTube uh, robot or something. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I'm curious um, how you handle the haters. You know, I, I ask that to everybody, by the way, when we have yeah. a you know, guest. <laughs> I, I honestly don't give them the power. Don't give anybody the power over you. I you have that. the power. You have it. Don't give it to anybody else. Don't let, you know, because I had a friend of mine. She's marvelously funny. She's incredibly talented. And she would get like a hundred, a hundred or so comments. Oh my gosh, you're so funny. I love you. But one person, one person would say something wrong and she would be like, that would set her off. I'm like, why are you paying? First of all, unfortunately, haters are, you know, there are just some people out there and I pray for them. Honestly, pray for your haters. Because if they're that in that low of a place that they have to put a mean comment. We had a, a, one of our friends in one of our communities you know, one of our chats, she got a mean comment. And I'm like, seriously, really? You, you have to, you have to do that. But you know what? Thanks for watching. You know, thanks for watching. Yeah. 
thanks for the engagement on my channel yeah, yeah thanks for watching and honestly you know what i do is i delete there's no need for that yeah. i don't even want you know why because i don't even want my own you know my own audience to like engage with that no 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 don't give them their negative energy no, 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 no. i think um i think it was catherine from do it on a dime last week um it seems like a month ago but um she was saying she approaches everybody with her three l's three l's not four i just did that three l's uh three l's and one of them was love mm -hmm. and when she looks at a negative comment she tries to look at it in a place of love because that negative comment is not about her it's really more about the person that left exactly. that negative comment think about it we're on freaking youtube and you made a you know you made a knickknack out of a plastic ring and a popsicle stick yeah it's not going to be everybody's thing but do you really got to leave a poopy comment about it because that's going to make you feel better like that that says something else is going on you know and i think when she said that um you know i've heard similar things from everybody but i think when she said that last week it was just kind of like wow that makes so much more sense and it goes in perfectly with what you're saying as well you know? Yeah, it's not a reflection on you. It's a reflection on who right. they are. And we don't know what they're going through. We don't know. So you know what? Honestly, pray for them. Right, right. Pray for them and delete them and block them. Erase them. Uh, right. Melissa, go for it. Hey, Melissa. I'm not going to steal that clock. So <laughs> I, I have I have a visitor coming. Um, I'm amongst the many that Annie has helped and influenced and has been there for. And I mean, I just wanted to say thank you because she was the first person I did a live with also. And I was terrified. I'm not comfortable being I'm like front tonight. and center. Um, I'm not I'm comfortable sorry. being like up front. Um, hey, hey, hey. I'm behind, um, Micah, stop. I'm behind um, the scenes and plays. That's me. I'm not up front, but she definitely um, helped me, you know, come up. And now I can do a live. It's, it's you know, it is what it is at this point. Um, but I wanted to know what is your favorite thing to craft with? Like what item, if you had to craft with Mommy. one item forever, like what Mommy. would it be? Before you answer any though, let me remind you, this is being recorded and posted on YouTube and there may or may not be one of the sponsors that you want to work with watching. Now I'm scared. <laughs> Not not necessarily a tool, but like item, like paper, wood. Like yeah. what what would you craft Blue with stick. every like, day? What is you the know? Thing you <laughs> flowers? Anything blingy? A I don't know. Bonder. Sugar bonder glue. You know, hot glue. I love it all, and you know, uh, decoupage. You okay. know, all of that. I love. I. I um, I'm trying to think. Uh, uh, I Your really outfit? Do love, I love crafting with flowers, obviously. <laughs> Your outfit tonight, I totally is giving me like Prince, like uh, uh, Ginger, what's his name? Not Prince Ginger, Harry and Meghan Markle. And you're like the cousin that showed up at the wedding that's still <laughs> part of the royal family, but lives in like the northern part of England. <laughs> You. well i'm i'm glad that i'm a family member of the royal you're royal you're still yes. royal actually what's funny was this i actually wanted this to be birds but i didn't have enough birds but could you imagine this with oh. like birds and feathers that's what i wanted hey, that's what we, i wanted but a whole other evening <laughs> that's a whole <laughs> other evening exactly that's a whole other um, evening. you know i love working with fabric i love working with flowers i love you just picked with... up a deal with uh tell us about that involving fabric Oh yes, I got uh, burlap, burlapfabric.com for all nice. your and, and tell and us, uh, you did an amazing, you did an amazing unboxing video that I did watch. You got some great materials. Yes. And uh, tell us how that came to, to be because you're at that mark in your channel now where you're probably getting lots of people wanting to reach out for like to businesses, reaching out for collaborations. And they're probably either at the point where they're offering no money but a free product yeah or they're offering free product with affiliate links yeah and then the next stage that you'll get to will be money honey in addition to free products and yeah. affiliate links yes well i have to say my first i know you're not gonna be 
my first product line was plaid. I reached out to them. I didn't have that many. And this was way back. This was like four years ago, five, almost five years ago. And Diana, are you still there, Diana? Diana helped me with one of the unboxings and we had a, like a ton of stuff and we just started yeah. crafting. I said, Diana, come over. I got free stuff. She goes, what do you mean? She, just come over. She's not, I'm not dressed. I'm not dressed for the camera. I was like, well, here you go. There's a camera. Let's go. Let's paint. Let's do some. Here, like, put a shawl hey. on. <laughs> yes. It's like, let's go. Boom. And she's like, all right. Okay. And she's like, yeah. poor, my poor friends. They just yeah. get roped into my life. But yeah, Plaid has been very, very, very good to me. And I agree. And I, I will tell you, I'm going to interrupt you for a minute. I'm sorry. Um, only because you know some history with this. So I yeah. had signed up for Plaid Ambassadors Program as well. And then I got kind of ghosted for a little while. And I was, mm -hmm. I was kind of like, what the heck's going on here, Plaid? And then over the last two days, I've got two really nice boxes from Plaid. You see? And I also received a great phone call today from Plaid. You see, and I love Plaid. Like, it, it really, really, really made a huge, huge difference. And Annie, you are so right. They have a great, great influencer program. They don't care if you've got 500 subscribers or you've got 50,000 subscribers or you've got 200,000 subscribers. Raise, you, raise your hands if you're a Plaid ambassador. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. And I have it. Do I have it here? Yes, I do. Wait a second. I need to show this. Wait, since we're talking about them. I... <laughs> This was like one of the best things ever. <laughs> I have to put it on. I received nice. Plaid Ambassador Sash. It's not official to everybody, but I got one from Crystal. Thank you so much, the Purple Pixie. Because I always said, you know, Plaid, I love being an ambassador, but I'm still waiting for my sash and my crown. I, I think you should wear that the rest of the show. I am. It actually goes really, really well with your outfit. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> but Plaid was my first and they've been incredibly supportive with me. I was also featured as a featured um, maker with Plaid FX. Nice. So, and they were, it was really nice because they actually saw me dress up as Bellatrix Lestrange and made something with their Plaid FX product. I made the, you know, floating potion bottle cauldron thing. Nice. And they're constantly sending me boxes. I love it. I just got the resin product. So I'm going to experiment with resin. I'm, ex I'm excited and scared. Nice. But recently, so I've also got um, burlapfabric.com yeah. and I've got, you know, totally dazzled. I, I already said, I always have to sing something. So totally dazzled and you can see they're part of this getup. I have a whole bunch of totally dazzling things. So tell and, us about the burlap one and then tell us about the dazzle one. because so, so with burlapfabric.com, I think it was Fanny. She was the one that mentioned it. And then she told me, yeah, just go on there and tell them about your life. All right, all right. So I went on there and sent them an email and I told them about my channel. I told them they came back to me and they said, well, what, you know, what are you, what are you looking for? What do you like to do? And I said, well, look, I love to work with fabric. And they sent me like oodles of like the really Again, nice. It's a great haul. Yeah, really nice um, burlap fabric. That's not the hard burlap, but it's like softer burlap that, it's like almost upholstery kind of material. So that's great. I'm going to be making everything with burlap. I love to stencil. I love to stamp. So you're going to see a little bit of stenciling, a little bit of stamping. Um, but the, that was great. And lace, of course, because I told them, you know, I like shabby chic. And then recently I did the, I did the throne for a totally dazzled, um, you know, collaboration I did with Teresa and I yeah. did it with Wanda, the distressed princess. And I actually got a, a comment, a little like, hey, that was really pretty or wow nice. or something. I don't know. They said something. I was like, oh my gosh, Natalie from Totally Dazzled. She watched me. Oh my gosh. So That's awesome. Yeah. So, and tell us about the jewels now. That's Totally Dazzled. Totally Dazzled is the jewels. Okay. And I just recently, I received an email and I don't know who, whoever did this. Thank you. Somebody apparently had recommended me to Solo Wood Flowers. I know other people had been like working with Solo Wood. I hadn't even thought of reaching out to them and they came out to me. So that was okay. really cool. And I was like, oh, that's gonna go so well. Like poor Luke, he's just like, uh, mom, there's nowhere to sit on the couch because of all the boxes of stuff that we get. And I'm not complaining. Tell Luke it's time to get an apartment. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> he's still too young. He's still in high school. He's still in high school. No, okay, okay. He's fine with it. Luckily, Luke's luckily, like, yeah, I'll go grab an apartment. Yeah, he's an artist. <laughs> so he's he's used to it. He's, you know, they're both very, both of my sons are very supportive. So they're very cool. Amazing. I, you know, I made them. They got to be cool, right? <laughs> did, um, did somebody else have their hand up or... 
did I no, Melissa, you were able to ask your question, right? Okay. I was uh, just showing off some of the totally dazzled stuff. There you go. Go for it. It's beautiful. So is it is it jewelry or is it like brooches and pins or so they have like brooches? They have brooches and like, you know, here's one of the brooches. Um, you know, it's like a brooch. But and then they have like little pieces that you can just glue. It has, it's like a flat back and you can glue and I've glued them into nice. You know, that's great. That's very cool. Just keep feeding my hoarding. Yeah, exactly. And believe me, it'll only get better from here because meaning you're going to get a lot more stuff. A lot yeah. more stuff is coming. So I need a warehouse. Uh, be prepared. You may want to convert that little uh, garage room that you were telling me about. That might have to be the project that you do and yeah. do it as a YouTube video and then you can write it off. There you go. Well, I did yes. do it. That was one of the hot videos of the year was my, was my horror room, <laughs> craft room redo. Like go in there and totally revamp it and make yeah. it, you know, and, and seriously write that off. I'm telling you it works. It is legal. It is legal. It is legal. That's awesome. Um, so I, what is next? What is next for Indiana Jones? What is next? The world is my oyster. Love it. So I don't know. Uh, you know, I am open to anything and everything. I love. That's not me. <laughs> Who's sending me messages on Instagram? It's like ding, ding, ding. <laughs> <laughs> Probably <I> Sandy. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, no, she's there. Um, what's next? You know what? I want to continue honing my craft as far as like shabby chic, cottage core, millennial, grand, grand millennial, whatever that's called. Because I love all this flowery, you know, foofy stuff. I've always loved yeah. that. But um, beyond that, and I do love making costumes. Actually, Dave from Dave's Wreaths is a very, very good designer. And I'm like, dude, I want to make one of your, I want to make that. I want to make one of your costumes. So I don't know. It's like the, you know, the sky's the limit. Uh, again, once I get to be able to create the parodies again that that'll be fun and i hope to be able to do that at least once a month i am so, telling you this right now while we are recording this will be included in the live but when we are able to see each other again and like you know be face to face even though we've never met i feel like we have i would love to be in one of your videos that you do where you do you know the the whole scene we can act it all out like yes. i think it would be a blast i will either we'll either figure it out here in atlanta or i will come to miami i have a place i can stay because we're in orlando teresa we're staying over <laughs> we'll do in orlando i have we'll some connections over. over there too so we'll figure it, it out but space. i would love love to do a parody video with you i think it would be amazing and incorporate some crafting into it uh, it would be so much fun I just want to continue growing my channel, growing my, more importantly, it's not about growing my channel, growing my community and being able to put what I love out there for other people to appreciate. And um, I don't know, just, you know, I really, I hope it comes through that I really love doing this. I really it love does. to bring it does. pieces of things to life and like make it something pretty and just pretty up the world, even in that small way. And that's what we all do. You have to realize, some people kind of like, you know, might throw shade at you. Oh, you got a YouTube channel, you do some crafting. Oh, well, you know, like, no, we make the world a prettier place. We entertain people. We this is therapy for a lot of people. You know, yeah. this is this is, you know, a this lot of was people connection know. during a time where we didn't know what the hell was going on. Exactly. And it and it's you know? it's important. It's just as important as anything else. And most especially anything artistic is something that truly should be nurtured. And, you know, when our children see what we're doing, that gives them hope. It gives them hope of, of, you know, when our children or other people or older people see that we are doing this and that we're happy and that we're creating something of, of beauty. And, you know, it, it gives people hope. You know, God is, is the ultimate creator. I mean, he is an arts and crafts guy. If you don't believe that, look at all the flowers he puts around, you know? He loves painting. He around loves you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Look at all of us. I mean, we're all gorgeous creations of the greatest creator of all. So I feel, I always feel when I'm creating something, I do have a connection to something greater. And, you know, just this community that I have, you know, I'm going to start crying. 
makes me feel like I'm part of a bigger thing because I'm not just creating for myself, but I'm, like I said, creating hope and creating opportunities for each one of you. And I'm going to start crying and I'm going to get really mad at myself because I don't like crying on camera, but you guys being here today, supporting me and watching my videos means so much to me. You have no idea because I, and my friend Lauren is here and Diana is here. Sometimes we don't get that. Hey, nice yeah. job at work, you know? Yep. And, and people look us over. So um, to be able to bring something from the heart and make it come to life and share it with you guys and see that people appreciate it. That's, yep. that's the greatest thing. So. I just got a text message also. Um, and it came in a few minutes ago from Courtney from creative on the cheap. And she wanted me to tell you that she's had some um, things going on with her mom that's prevented her from being there tonight, from being here tonight. But she wanted me to tell you hi, and that she's so sorry that she's missing your story and how you create and how you became Indiana. And she's looking forward to seeing it on the replay. So. Well, thank you so much, Courtney. That's the sweetest thing. And thank you so much, Diana. You are so wonderful, Diana. <laughs> Diana's my good buddy. I miss you, Diana. We got to get together and craft again. Uh, I think Teresa B had her. Oh my gosh, I got people crying. I'm sorry. Wait, I'm going to fix the light. Here. <laughs> and then Norma, I, well, Norma, go ahead. Cause I think Teresa put her hand down. And if you didn't. Teresa, I wasn't, I wasn't going to talk tonight. Cause I usually talk at every chit chat, <laughs> but I we want you here, Norma. We love I you. couldn't let it, I couldn't let it go. I remember my first chit chat show after Jamie said hello to me, you were the next person. And you were like, Norma Jones, oh wait, Jones, Rodriguez, that's me, wait, wait. So um, I really appreciate it. It shows your spirit, just like you were talking about, you feel like it's a higher power. I definitely believe that. You have the most beautiful spirit. Um, now I've been here almost every single chit chat show. I know so many other people, people greet me on a regular basis. Um, I wanted to say something because you're you're a Dade County and I came Dade and Broward. Yeah. So now I'm in Orlando. So and I do have two guest rooms. So just All like right. So there. Teresa B, it looks like that's Put where it it's gonna there. go down. Exactly. And yeah. um, Dade and Broward. Do you remember? I don't know if Diana would remember because she looks really young. Um, remember Diamonds, the store yeah. Diamonds, the oh my gosh. There was a store in Dade County that everything that we used was in that store and yeah. it was so inexpensive. When was it? It, when it was went it out there? of business. But we're talking in the 1980s, 80s, yeah. right? In the 80s. Okay. In that's the 80s. Where, okay. So like Hispanics have something called quinceañeras and that's where you went to get all your stuff for your quinceañeras because you have to have like all the frou frou stuff and all the glittery stuff. Remember? No, did you have a quinceañera? Yes, feathers, we did, oh, everything, everything you could buy. And so, I just thought of that store and I thought, my God, that's where we would get all our, you know, craft stuff. To so make you guys know I lived in Miami. I lived, well, I lived in Broward in Fort Lauderdale. And I lived okay. in Miami, like in Aventura for just a little while. But Diamonds was not around when I was there. Cause I was yeah, there. no, it was Hialeah. It was Hialeah on 103rd and 49th. Westchester. Westchester. Oh, Ooh. they had one in Westchester also? Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Go away. No. Yeah, go away, yes. You're right. <laughs> But um, yeah, so I just wanted to, you know, let you know that, um, of course, obviously, everybody has said it, you reach out to so many people, it doesn't matter where they are, um, you know, or who they are, you know, you're a loving, you have a loving spirit. And um, I'm so glad that I'm part of you guys, viewer or not, because I'm not, I craft everything you guys do, I, I go and I buy the stuff, I haven't gotten to it yet. But I am artsy, I, I took commercial art through high school and everything. So it's, Arts is my thing. I just don't think I can do the channel. Uh, I'm not there. Well, maybe maybe after you guys get really big and then you promote me and then I can get big. There you go. There you go. Well, whenever you're inspired, just you know, one day just like take your phone and start filming. Oh, and the other thing I wanted to mention, by the way, I'm Hispanic. <gasps> I know it's Jones and I'm Hispanic, but yeah, my parents are Cuban. I didn't mention that before, did I? Maybe I did. Yeah, you did. You I did. did. So yeah, shout out well, to my, my, my niece. You know, my niece, um, I say my niece because her mom was my best friend, uh, is Gina shopping and crafting on a dime. Oh, so, yeah. oh cool. Yeah. So um, Wait, are you in uh, Orlando too, Gina? No, she's now in Arkansas. She used to be. Oh, no, I'm in Arkansas. You've been quiet, Gina. It's going to pop <laughs> if we're all in Orlando. 
that's going to be a mess. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, have, I have two great rooms. One is a Mickey Mouse room. One's a Minnie Mouse room. So whenever you guys ready, if you need to That's run perfect. through, if you need to run through the town, let me know. There you go. Perfect. Amazing. I was going to say, we can tell you where all the good Dollar Trees are. We know. <laughs> yeah, girl. You're absolutely right. <laughs> Amazing. Teresa B., what's your question? You're on mute, boo. I, I was just going to say, we know where all the good Dollar Trees are if you oh, come nice. down to Orlando. I have them mapped out. <laughs> oh, gosh. That's amazing. I, I know where mine are. <laughs> and it looks like Connie is going to be in Georgia in September. If you're going to be in Atlanta, Connie, let me know. We'll grab Ooh. lunch or go to Dollar Tree. I'll take you to the secret Dollar Tree. Um, it's not a secret Dollar Tree. It's just where I go. And, um, I have, and I have to say, Jamie, thank you so much for creating the chit chat show, not just because I'm on it. I mean, that's cool. But most especially because you have created an, uh, you know, like an avenue where we can talk to these bigger channels that have inspired us and actually just sit down and feel like, you know, just like, hey, you know, we're having a cup of coffee and we're learning from you. And, and you know, this is such an incredibly well designed concept that you've come up with this chit chat show because it really does allow us smaller channels to learn and interact with these bigger craft stars. I mean, I've fangirled a couple of times here and it's just, it's just so much fun. It really is. So yeah. Jamie, I really want to thank you for creating this whole, you know, this whole way of, of meeting um, all of our crafters. And I especially want to thank you because of our friendship, because you are like the coolest guy. You are just the sweetest, Kindest, I mean, you opened the door for me to be on your channel, and I'm a small channel compared to like the the stars that you've had on here. Nobody is a small channel. Nobody is a small channel. That's right. There's no small. There's no small. What is it? Uh, uh, roles? Yeah. There's no small roles. That's uh, absolutely true. So thank you. But thank you anyway. Thank you so much. You're welcome. For and allowing me and allowing all of us, all of us, because we continue to meet a net and network with other crafters here. So absolutely. I was telling folks before you joined that I, I love you. Your spirit. You're so great. And. Uh, <laughs> I love you too, Jamie. Oh, Don't do this. It's like, I feel like you're my little brother, you know, but, um, I love you. And we've only really gotten to know each other in this past year, but. I know, but I feel like that if we were to hang out on the front porch that we would be in trouble. chatting just like this, you know, we, we might be out there with a glue gun or something and making outfits for Otis, but, um, you know, <laughs> I feel like we'd be hanging out and doing stuff, but, but truly you've, you've been amazing. You've been an inspiration. You're doing what you need to do and what is best for you. And it is a gift that you are sharing. And I want you to know that, um, ah, I hate when I do this. Um, I want you to know that I truly, truly appreciate you and your friendship as well. You know that there's been some, you know, some, some stuff that I've been dealing with and um, it's hard. And you know, when, as your channel continues to grow, you're going to experience some, you know, some highs and lows. And it's important to have a core. And I created this because of the wonderful people that I was able to meet very early on when this pandemic started. And you know, you were one of those people. And um, I truly, truly appreciate your friendship as well. And when I was going through the roster and, and planning and, and even creating this, I had no idea that the people that I've been able to get as guests, including yourself, would have agreed to do this. You know, Catherine, Megan, Sarah Jane, Courtney, and like you said, you know, people have become friends because of this. And that is such a good thing about this community. And that we all can be friends and it doesn't matter, you know, if I've got a hundred thousand subscribers or, yeah. you know, five subscribers, it's, it's not about that. It's about the friendships and everything that we make. And I feel like that I could literally 
hang out with you. I know I could hang out with Sandy. We'd be at the lumber mill. Like she'd be showing me a bunch of stuff that I'd have no idea what, what it was. Like, I feel like I could go shopping with Gina. Like Norma has sent me birthday presents that I'm by the way, using tonight, Norma for the challenge with Annie. And, uh, but seriously, you guys, I love doing this and I am going to a weekly format after, not after next week, Friday, I'm taking off this coming Friday, because I'm going to my parents to see my mom and my dad and celebrate their wedding anniversary. And um, we can do it in person and we can actually like eat dinner and hug and chat. And, um, but, um, and then I'll be back the next week, but we're going weekly. And the reason why we're going weekly is because you guys continue to support this. And um, the next guest is I believe Amber, DIY with Amber. And um, I'm super excited about her. We've got Christy Creates coming up. And then um, She's So Crafty is going to be a guest as well. She's going to show her face. Yay! So uh, awesome. I'm super excited about that. We're at the 8.07 mark. So we are a few minutes past. But I still want to give everybody a chance. Um, if you have any questions, sorry for that little uh, yes. boohoo fest. But um, any other last minute questions before we take our break and um and then continue the annie jamie show um on annie's channel i'm i'm honored to be a guest on yours and i'm super excited and i'm, I'm very nervous too by the way i was nervous to be on here i was like <gasps> ask my son out here you. forever <laughs> <laughs> i know but not as you know ask luke he was like mom why are you running around it's, you've been on this side i'm like i know but i'm like Yes, they're going to ask me questions and I don't know what to do. They're going to ask me to do stuff. <laughs> awesome. Well, if nobody else has any other questions, then I think we are going to end. Um, I do want guys. to give everybody, uh, first, we're going to do the um, prize because we do have a Target gift card and it's an electronic gift card, which means you'll actually get it from me because I still have packages to... Pam Bell and to Velvet from like previous guests that I still haven't mailed yet. So I didn't know we had a giveaway tonight. Oh yes, it's a $25 Amazon gift card that I'm going to be giving out of my own pocket. And, nope, uh, then what? you know what? Nope, we're going to make it a $50 gift card. Yes, sir. Okay, we're making it a $50 gift $50 card. $50 gift card. And then we will do the uh, virtual selfie after that. But what I want to do is, um, Annie, if you're not currently in gallery view, go ahead and switch over to gallery view that we see okay. all the squares. I was in gallery view the whole time because I okay, didn't want Perfect, everybody. perfect. Um, I like to toggle back and forth. because I like Wait, to let me fix my eyes. <laughs> Hold on, I probably have like eyeliner. Um, <laughs> Thanks. And uh, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna ask you to close your eyes and you kind of follow the screen. You know the drill, follow the screen and uh, point to a square when I say stop and that's who's gonna be our winner, but you have to close your eyes when you're doing it. Okay. All right. At the count of three. One, two, three. Who is our winner? Well, Luke, so we can't have that one. So okay, let's Luke, do it sorry, again. Buddy. Why not? <laughs> Why not? I'll just <laughs> I know, I know. All right. I can I'll split it with Luke. <laughs> now right. if you're a part if you're a part wait, but if you're a participant and you're not um, do I see everybody? Yeah, you'll you if you um, if you have your cameras on, then you will be seen. Oh, Lauren turned it on real quick. There you go, Lauren. Good job, <laughs> Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so count of three again. Ready? One, two, three. Liz. All right, Liz, the official craft nerd. You are the winner of the Amazon gift card, fifty dollars. And uh, we'll be sending that out to you. Um, I know your email, so you'll get it. You'll get awesome. it probably tomorrow, but you'll get it. <laughs> I'll not, send it by my you. cell phone number. You know how to stalk me. <laughs> that is awesome. And I'll send you through PayPal. Yeah, whatever. We'll figure okay. it out. Um, any other last minute questions before we do our selfie with Adi? Just one last thing. I want to thank you all. Thank you all for spending you know, the countless hours with me watching me live and watching my, you know, videos now as, as I continue making like produced videos. Thank you because the most precious thing you can give me is your time and your kindness and your compassion and, and just your, 
just just everything guys i really love you guys really truly thank awesome. you thank you so much all right everybody you know the drill get your phone out i've got annie spotlighted on the screen if you're currently in gallery view switch over to speaker view that way annie will be take a selfie in charge Lord. and in charge on your screen and then when i stop talking i'm gonna do a countdown to three and have annie say hello and just smile into the camera and say hello. That way the speaker will grab you and the camera will grab you. Okay. So my squeaky chair. At the count of three. One, two, three. Hey. <laughs> that work? Talk, 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 talk. There you go. Yep, I think it worked. Uh looks like maybe one more. Keep hey. talking. Flamo! <laughs> awesome. Awesome. All right. Well, we have got about 30 minutes, I think, till we're hanging out. Yes. And then 45 minutes before we go live. So yes, and costume change. I don't know. <laughs> I think do you I'm gonna do a costume, costume change. Or not? I don't know. I'm I'm gonna be natural. I'm just gonna be myself because it's I'm gonna like... do a costume change too. I'm just gonna put on another t-shirt. Okay. I'll get I'll get comfy. <laughs> What do you mean? Yes, this is my loungewear. I'll just wear this. I really love this now. I'm like, I'm serious. I'm going to wear this to Walmart tomorrow morning. You should go to like Kroger or Publix and just. Right? Walk with around. my, with, no, you know what? I'm going to go to Hobby Lobby with my sash. That's <laughs> Maybe that could be like a side gig and you could literally be like the People will come and take proud pictures. plaid ambassador and be like a meet and greet. Plat and start tagging plaid at them and they'd be like <laughs> they're used to me they are they're used to me i'm serious like kathy kathy and steve from mod podge oh by the way happy mod podge day it's a mod podge day is it really mod podge day yes it is oh wow um favi suggests that you do it live from walmart oh okay <laughs> no I'll go, I'll go to hobby lobby dress like this and see if anybody notices with the crown and everything so i think you should <laughs> All right, my dear. I will see you shortly. I'm excited. Thank you. Bye, guys. See you soon. Love you. Bye. Love you too. Bye. Thank bye. you guys for coming. I'll meet yourself. Bye. Say goodbye. Thank you. <laughs> bye. Bye. bye, everyone. Bye. Annie, I'll see you at like 8.45, right? Yeah, see you too. Yeah. Okay. See you soon. Bye. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye.